So I ordered something online a few weeks ago and I've been eagerly anticipating its arrival and I finally received it yesterday so let's take a look. So this is the Supai Adventure Gear Canyon Pack Raft and I chose this over the Coco Pellies and the Alpacas because it's a whole lot lighter and I wanted something primarily for hiking so I have more access into the backcountry. The downside to this thing being so lightweight is I don't think I can carry my bike on it like you can with those other ones but my bike does float so maybe I can tow it behind me somehow I'm not sure if that'll work. I can only find one review online about this thing and uh, the one thing they point out is uh, since it's so lightweight the material isn't the most durable it's kind of prone to abrasions so I'm gonna have to be careful when I'm uh, getting in and out of the water not to scrape the bottom and it's not meant for rapids or anything like that it's just meant for flat water um, the bottom on this isn't insulated so uh, if I'm out on cold waters I'll have to line the bottom with a, with a pad or something so my butt isn't freezing off and I'm surprised it doesn't come with the uh, inflation sack. They only give you the, the option to blow it up with your mouth. My Thermarest air mattress came with one though. Maybe I can rig this up so it's compatible. Or maybe that's something the manufacturer should offer. So I'm here at Annie Lake today. I wanted to give the raft a test run. Out on the other side of the lake up in that mountain there's a cave that I wanted to check out. Slightly windy today and uh, the water's kind of choppy but I'll blow it up and uh, go out there and see how it handles. I didn't put a liner on the bottom so my butt's already getting cold but I'm not going too far out right now <laughs> until I get the hang of this thing I'll try to get out in some of these bigger waves and see how it handles not bad. <laughs> I'm not really getting anywhere. All of a sudden a lot of people started showing up where I was parked there. I guess it's a popular boat launch. So I decided to move my van over to a different spot for the night. But uh, I got a flat tire on the way over here. These patches are considered to be temporary, but I used one on uh, my last set of tires and they seem to last forever. The rafting went good today. I have like no experience on the water. I've gone kayaking once in my life, so this is all new to me. Some of the waves start coming over the edge of the raft. There's no spray deck available for this one. It's not meant for rough waters. So maybe I should have went for the Coco Pelly. It's a whole lot sturdier. It can uh, handle a lot more, but uh, it's a lot more bulky too. This one plus the paddle still weighs less than the Coco Pelly, so trade-offs. So. Tomorrow we'll figure out uh, just what we can do with it, but tonight I'm going to make up some guacamole burgers. This is going to be like having a burrito on a bun. I just have to mix up my ground beef with some uh, lime, cilantro, chili powder, black pepper, garlic powder, and red pepper. I'm going to cook these up inside. There's too many mosquitoes out right now, but uh, I'm not going to use the induction. I got to save some battery life so I can run the cooler tomorrow. So gas it is. But uh, before I cook these, 
We're gonna make up the uh, guacamole. So a couple avocados, tomato, onion, lime, and then uh, garlic powder, black pepper, chili powder, and some more red pepper. I probably could have gotten by with one avocado actually. This is going to be a lot of food. When I was out there trying to paddle against the wind, there was no hope. I wasn't getting anywhere, so I got to be really careful uh, how I plan out my routes uh, with the wind direction or else I, I might end up in the Gulf of Mexico if I'm not careful. Nice. When I was outside airing up my tires, somebody came around and uh, we got to talking and it turned out they were originally from southwestern Ontario as well. And it was funny, we both kind of agreed how nice it was to be out here in the Yukon with all this wilderness and freedom and room to roam around. It's pretty nice here. All right, I'm gonna go in for round two on this. These turned out really good. I'm a big fan of the cilantro lime combo. I'm gonna to try to get this down and tap out for the night. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and hopefully we got good weather for that rafting adventure. All right, we got perfect weather conditions today. This is gonna be awesome. I've got this old air mattress that I use for bike packing. I cut it in half a long time ago. Fits perfectly in the boat. Gonna have to use my big backpack today. Once I get to the other side, I want to pack all this up and first we'll check out the cave, then we'll go across the ridge. There's a peak up there, Gilliman 3, see if I can bag that. I'm just gonna wear my backpack actually. I got foot space. When the air inside the raft gets cold, it shrinks, so I gotta blow it up again. Gotta be very, very careful with that uh, valve. My life depends on it. Head over towards that island. If I sank here, I mean, I could uh, go over to the island, spend the rest of my life there. We're just zooming across here. Well, the cave is straight ahead of me. I'll see if I can uh, get a shore up there. That was awesome. <laughs> I hate mosquitoes. Mosquito. The summer is nice, but the winter has a lot of benefits. No mosquitoes, no bears, no tourism. <laughs> it seems like wherever you go, there's that one really busy trail. Remember I was in uh, Montana, I'm like going to the Sun Road. I got up to the pass and uh, I think it's called the Skyline Trail. Went out on that and it was so busy. It was like standing in a lineup for a roller coaster. It's unbelievable. I think it's so much more enjoyable to be out there finding your own routes. Looks like a king-sized cave. This is the family model. The last one was just a uh, bachelor pad. Smells like sheep poo in here. I guess it's a bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, all in one. 
judging from all the fur on the ground they're making good use out of it though so this one's occupied not on the market this view is not for sale On to the next thing. I'm gonna go around this way now, see if I can summit that mountain. That's Gillam N3 up there, but I just got some cell service. There's supposed to be a storm coming in about an hour, so I'm gonna bail out. I'm gonna go down here back to the water and uh, make sure I can get uh, back to my van safely. I just fell right on my tripod and smashed it in half. It's a cheapy one, it's only 20 bucks, so not a big loss, but uh, let's see if I can glue it back together. I'm headed out this way to uh, an outcrop of land for shorter water crossing. And uh, if the wind is blowing in the same direction, it'll help me, I won't be fighting against it. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. It's uh, just a slight breeze. I'm gonna aim over there and you can see the van is over there. So that's how I normally shoot a gun. Aim there, bullet there. I don't know about this you guys. It's nuts and it's like relaxing at the same time. How nice is this? <laughs> Still alive. Well, this storm hasn't really appeared, but I don't mess around with lightning warnings when I'm up on a mountain. But I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever pack rafting adventure. The only way I can describe it, I just felt really small out there, like I was sitting on top of a dinky car. That crossing on the way back was about 500 meters wide, and I don't know if I'd be comfortable doing much more than that. It's hard to say, but uh, if I'm just going along the length of a lake along the shore to avoid bushwhacking, then I mean, that's totally fine. But uh, it's a really cool piece of gear. Glad to have it, and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it this summer. I just have to be super careful not to uh, scrape the bottom. But uh, anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, and uh, thank you uh, to Patreon supporters, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the Foresty Forest Fishing Channel, where I never catch anything. Huh. <laughs> I got a bite. <laughs> Thank you.